Hi guys, Ash here and in this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and show you how, how to get your Galaxy Note GTN 7000 to dual boot. Uh, so guys if you want a demonstration of how this works, click the link in the description or the one annotated, on, annotated onto this video uh, to check out my video of uh, a demonstration of dual boot. Okay guys, so as of this moment you can dual boot either two TouchWiz based Ice Cream Sandwich ROMs or two CM9 based uh, ROMs for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. Uh, you wouldn't be able to, uh, what do you say, dual boot between a gingerbread and an ice cream, uh, ICS ROM or a CM9 and an ICS TouchWiz based ROM. That is at the moment. Alright, so currently I'm running Chris Kalo V10. And I'm gonna be adding King Droid, uh, King Droid Note Mania as my secondary ROM. Okay, how this works is we're gonna be talking about two memories in this uh, in this tutorial again to show you. All right, uh, we will be talking about the device memory that is the 1.97 gigs that's been allocated to the ROM, and we will be talking about the uh, internal SD, the 11.08 11 gigs allocated. We would not be talking about the micro SD, so forget about your micro SD card. Okay, uh, we are just gonna be using the device's internal memory and the internal SD. So when I say phone memory, I'm talking about the 1.97 gigs, and when I say internal SD, I'm talking about the 11.08 gigs. You do not need to have a micro SD card uh, to follow these steps. All right, the first thing you do here, guys, is go ahead, back up all your existing settings and whatever you want using Titanium Backup or any other uh, backup app of your choice. All right, so once you've done with that, go ahead and get the secondary ROM that you want. So in my case, it's King Droid, uh, King Droid Note Mania, and I've already got it and I've uh, transferred it to the micro SD or the internal, uh, internal uh, SD, whatever you want to transfer it. Uh, get the files from link 1, link 2, link 3 and link 4 and transfer it to, the, uh, to a folder either on, on your internal SD or on your micro SD. Just get that done. Link 1 is to copy the files uh, from your phone memory, that's the 1.97 gigs, to your internal SD. And link 2 is to uh, wipe everything and get the uh, data.img uh, and cache.img set up. Uh, link 3 is to set your phone memory as the default uh, ROM to boot into and link 4 is the dual boot kernel. The, uh, I've given three dual boot kernels over there for ICS and one dual boot kernel for CM9. And if you have issues with any kernel, uh, try the next one. If you have an issue with it, try the third one and one of those should work fine. Okay, so how, what are, how, how, how we get this done? First thing you do is hold up volume, power and home. Keep holding it, your phone will reboot and once you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed you can let the keys go. And guys, uh, I mean uh, most of you would be knowing it, your phone needs to be rooted and you need to have clockwork mod recovery installed if you need to go ahead and do this, uh, do follow these steps. Alright, so if, you have, if your phone isn't rooted then go ahead, click my link again in the description and uh, follow the tutorial get get your phone rooted and get back to this video Okay, so right now uh, Go to install zip from SD card and Navigate to wherever it is that you have your dual boot folder set up And right now the first thing you do is copy underscore ROM underscore 2 underscore SD card underscore system dot zip This is the file you got from link 1 so go ahead and install that. So this will take you about four to five minutes guys. So uh, just wait for it to be done and I'll be back with you guys once this procedure is done. All right guys, uh, we're done. So what you do next is again, uh, choose it from SD card. I'm sorry. Now we get to wherever it is that you have your dual boot folder. And now go ahead and select SC underscore internal underscore ROM one underscore wipe underscore data underscore cache. And install it. This will take a little bit of time as well.
All right, guys. Uh, now that's done too. So uh, again, going back to the dual boot folder, and this time select the default as the phone ROM. That's done. Now again, uh, guys. Again, uh, as far as Link Four goes, there are four kernels there: one for CM9 and three for uh, Dutchus based ICS. I would suggest you try speed mod first because that's uh, given me the best results. Now that's done. So now uh, <coughs> go back, go to advanced, and hit reboot recovery. Alright, guys, from this point onwards, go ahead, uh, whatever. ROM you want installed right now. Uh, the ROM that you had on your phone memory has now been transferred to your internal SD. Okay, so one ROM is done. It's set up. So it's the second ROM, the one that you want on your phone memory that we're going to set up right now. So at this point, you can go ahead and follow any tutorial you want. Get uh, get any ROM installed. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and install uh, King Droid Note Mania, which I already have. Install the from SD card. Don't know. King Droid ICS. Hitting next. Finished. Alright, so now that this is done. Okay, after the installation of your ROM, get back to recovery and again go into choose zip from SD card. And uh flash the dual boot speed mod kernel. That's the one you got from link uh Link 4. Flash it again. Alright, so now going back, you can reboot the system now. And guys, while the system is rebooting, if you're on full screen, just come back to windowed mode and scroll up and click the subscribe buttons. <laughs> Alright, just kidding, guys. But seriously, click the subscribe button. Alright guys, we're up here, so let me quickly get through setup. Alright, so we're up. Just giving the ROM a few moments to settle. Settings. That's King Dried Note Mania. Alright guys, now on King Droid what we do is just press and hold the power button and power off the phone. So guys, uh, the timing is the key here for dual boot and uh, you know, till you get the timing on correct, uh, there's an ex uh, I'll tell you how to actually boot into the uh, uh, SD, SD ROM, the ROM on the internal SD. Okay, the phone is off. So right now, Hit the power button once, and once you see Galaxy Note displayed on screen, just keep pressing the home button. Don't press and hold it, just keep pressing it multiple times. That is in case if you have troubles booting into uh, 
your phone ST or internal ST just tap it about 5-10 times just press it when Galaxy Note is being displayed let it go you should be able to dual boot uh, onto the other OS Alright, we're up. We're up guys. Just to show you, Chris Kalo. So guys, uh, right now let me show you how to remove this mod uh, in case you know you want to go back uh, to having a single what do you say having a single uh, ROM and you want to get your space back. Uh, what you need to do, guys, is take your phone. Uh, you hit up link five, and uh, there is a link to speed mod, uh, not the not the dual boot kernel, but the regular ICS speed mod kernel. So download that and uh, go into clockwork mode recovery and flash it the way we've done it throughout this tutorial uh, just install from zip select the, select the file and flash it I'm not gonna show it cause I've shown you guys flashing enough times in this video just do it that way and then connect your phone to your computer and uh, turn on USB storage or, or MTP whatever just go into your phone's SD card Uh, I'm sorry the internal SD and uh, you will find something called SD ROMs over here and just right click and delete it and that's it so that's pretty much it guys uh, for dual boarding uh, ROMs on the Galaxy Note uh, I try to be as clear as possible if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section and if it's something technical or if you're running into issues with this uh, I have also added a link to the original uh, thread on XTA developers. You can post it over there. If I can answer it, I'll try to answer you over there. Or you can also get help from the developer directly. Because, uh, you know, I'm not the developer for this. I don't take any credit for this method. I, I went through the forum. I found it a little difficult to understand. So, uh, when, I, so when I actually did it for my phone, I thought I'll make a video and help out anybody else who's actually trying to do this so uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, you know if, and if you guys wanna hit me up you, you can hit me up on Facebook uh, Twitter or email me directly all my contact details are in the description and before you go like always please hit the like and subscribe buttons uh, I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note uh, and if you guys do want to help me out, use my links to Amazon in the description, the one that says uh, to order a Galaxy Note or Galaxy Note accessories. Uh, use, the, use that link if you want to order anything off Amazon. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff. Uh, if you place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on the value of your order. So that is if you guys do want to help me out, uh, which I hope you do. So. That's pretty much it guys, I hope you, li you liked the video and uh, uh, I'll see you soon with more videos, till then you guys have a great day, bye bye now.